hello hello welcome welcome to day 91 of our bible in a year challenge my name is sandra i'm gonna be your host for today welcome we are committed to reading our bibles in a year with just less than 20 minutes daily read time yes you heard me right just less than 20 minutes daily read time day 91 april 1st 2023 welcome to the month of april the second quarter of the year 365 days bible reading old testament numbers 31 verse 25 to 54 numbers 32 new testament luke 8 verse 40 to 56 luke 9 verse 1 to 9 Psalms and Proverbs, Psalm 40, verse 1 to 8. Old Testament and IV version, Numbers 31, verse 25 to 54. Dividing the spoils. The Lord said to Moses, You and Elias are the priest and the family heads of the community are to count all the people and animals that were captured. Divide the spoils equally between the soldiers who took part in the battle and the rest of the community. From the soldiers who fought in the battle set apart as tribute for the Lord, one out of every 500, whether people, cattle, donkeys, or sheep, take this tribe, take this tribute from their half share and give it to Elias at the priest as the Lord's part. From the Israelites' half, select one out of every fifty, whether people, cattle, donkeys, sheep, or other goats, or the animals rather. Give them to the Levites, who are responsible for the care of the Lord's tabernacle. So Moses and Elias are the priests, did just as the Lord commanded Moses. The plunder remaining from the spoils that the soldiers took was six hundred and seventy-five thousand sheep. 72,000 cattle, 61,000 donkeys, and 32,000 men, women who had never slept with a man. The half share of those who fought in the battle was 337,500 sheep, of which the tribute for the Lord was 675. 36,000 cattle, of which the tribute for the Lord was 72. 30,500 donkeys, of which the tribute for the Lord was 61. 16,000 people, of whom the tribute for the Lord was 32. Moses gave the tribute to Elias at the priest as the Lord's part, as the Lord commanded Moses. The half belonging to the Israelites, which Moses set apart from that of the fighting men, the community's half, was 337,500 sheep, 36,000 cattle, 30,500 donkeys, and 16,000 people. From the Israelites' half, Moses selected one out of every 50 people and animals as the Lord commanded him and gave them to the Levites who were responsible for the care of the Lord's tabernacle. Then the officers who were over the units of the army, the commanders of thousands and commanders of hundreds, went to Moses and said to him, Your servants have counted the soldiers under our command and not one is missing. So we have brought as an offering to the Lord the gold articles each of us acquired, armlets, bracelets, signet rings, earrings and necklaces to make atonement for ourselves before the Lord. Moses and Elias at the priest accepted from them the gold, all the crafted articles, all the gold from the commanders of thousands and commanders of hundreds that Moses and Elias had presented as a gift to the Lord weighed 16,750 shekels. Each soldier had taken plunder for himself. Moses and Elias at the priest accepted the gold from the commanders of thousands and commanders of hundreds and brought it into the tent of meeting as a memorial for the Israelites before the Lord. Numbers 32 verse 1 to 42. The Transjordan Tribes. 
The Reubenites and Gadites who had very large herds and flocks saw that the lands of Jazir and Gilead were suitable for livestock. So they came to Moses and Elias at the priest and to the leaders of the community and said, Ataroth, Dibon, Jazir, Nimra, Heshbon, Eliele, Sebam, Nebo, and Beon, the land the Lord subdued before the people of Israel are suitable for livestock and your servants have livestock if we have found favor in your eyes they said let this land be given to your servants as our possession do not make us cross the jordan moses said to the gadites and Reubenites, should your fellow israelites go to war while you sit here why do you discourage the israelites from crossing over into the land the lord has given them this is what your fathers did when i sent them from kadesh barney to look over the land after they went up to the valley of eshkol and viewed the land they discouraged the israelites from entering the land the lord had given them the lord's anger was aroused that day and he saw this oath because they have not followed me wholeheartedly not one of those who were 20 years old or more when they came up out of egypt will see the land i promised on oath to abraham isaac and jacob not one except caleb son of jephone the kenizite and joshua son of Nun, for they followed the lord wholeheartedly the lord's anger burned against israel and he made them wander in the wilderness forty years until the whole generation of those who had done evil in his sight was gone and here you are a brood of sinners standing in the place of your fathers and making the lord even more angry with israel if you turn away from following him he will again leave all these people in the wilderness and you will be the cause of their destruction then they came up to him and said we would like to build pens here for our livestock and cities for our women and children but we will arm ourselves for battle and go ahead of the Israelites until we have brought them to their place. Meanwhile, our women and children will live in, a fortified, in fortified cities for protection from the inhabitants of the land. We will not return to our homes until each of the Israelites has received their inheritance. We will not receive any inheritance with them on the other side of the Jordan because our inheritance has come to us on the east side of the jordan then moses said to them if you will do this if you will arm yourselves before the lord for battle and if all of you who are armed cross over the jordan before the lord until he has driven his enemies out before him then when the land is subdued before the lord you may return and be free from your obligation to the lord and to israel and this land will be your possession before the lord but if you fail to do this you will be sinning against the lord and you may be sure that your sin will find you out build cities for your women and children and pens for your flocks but do what you have promised the Gadites and Reubenites said to Moses, We, your servants, will do as our Lord commands. Our children and wives, our flocks and herds, will remain here in the cities of Gilead. But your servants, every man who is armed for battle, will cross over to fight before the Lord, just as our Lord says then moses gave orders about them to eliezer the priest and joshua son of nun and to the family heads of the israelite tribes he said to them if the gadites and reubenites every man armed for battle cross over the jordan with you before the lord then when the land is subdued before you you must give them the land of gilead as their possession but if they do not cross over with you armed they must accept their possession with you in canaan the Gadites and Reubenites answered, Your servants will do what the Lord has said. We will cross over before the Lord into Canaan armed, but the property we inherit will be on this side of the Jordan. Then Moses gave to the Gadites, the Reubenites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh, son of Joseph, the king of Sihon, king son of Joseph, the kingdom of Sihon, king of the Amorites, and the kingdom of Og, king of Bashan, the whole land with its cities and the territory around them the gadites built up dibon ataroth aroa atroth shofan jazer jogbeha beth nimra and beth haran as fortified cities and built pens for their flocks and the Reubenites rebuilt heshbon eliale 
and Kiriathen, as well as Nebo and Balmeon. These names were changed, and Sigma. They gave names to the cities they rebuilt. The descendants of Makir, son of Manasseh, went to Gilead, captured it, and drove out the Amorites who were there. So Moses gave Gilead to the Makirites, the descendants of Manasseh, and they settled there. Jair, a descendant of Manasseh, captured their settlements and called them Havot Jair. And Nabo captured Kenath and its surrounding settlements and called it Nabo after himself. New Testament NIV version Luke 8 verse 40 to 56 Jesus raises a dead girl and heals a sick woman Now when Jesus returned a crowd welcomed him for they were all expecting him Then a man named Jairus a synagogue leader came and fell at Jesus's feet pleading with him to come to his house because his only daughter, a girl of about twelve, was dying. As Jesus was on his way, the crowds almost crushed him. And a woman was there who had been subject to bleeding for twelve years, but no one could heal her. She came up behind him and touched the edge of his cloak, and immediately her bleeding stopped. Hallelujah. Who touched me? Jesus asked. When they all denied it, Peter said, Master, the people are crowding and pressing against you. But Jesus said, Someone touched me. I know that power has gone out of me. Then the woman, seeing that she could not go unnoticed, came trembling and fell at his feet. In the presence of other people, she told why she had touched him and how she had been instantly healed. Glory to God. Then he said to her, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace. Glory to God. While Jesus was still speaking, someone came from the house of Jairus, the synagogue leader. Your daughter is dead, he said. Don't bother the teacher anymore. Hearing this, Jesus said to Jairus, don't be afraid. Just believe and she will be healed. Glory to God. When he arrived at the house of Jairus, he did not let anyone go in with him except Peter, John, and James, and the child's father and mother. Meanwhile, all the people were wailing and mourning for her. Stop wailing, Jesus said. She is not dead, but asleep. They laughed at him, knowing that she was dead. But he took her by the hand and said, My child, get up. Her spirit returned, and at once she stood up. Then Jesus told them to give her something to eat. Her parents were astonished, but he ordered them not to tell anyone what had happened. Glory to God. Luke 9 verse 1 to 9. Jesus sends out the twelve. When Jesus had called the twelve together, he gave them power and authority to drive out all demons and to cure diseases, and he sent them out to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. He told them, Take nothing for the journey, no staff, no bag, no bread, no money, no extra shirt. Whatever house you enter, stay there until you leave that town. If people do not welcome you, Leave their town and shake the dust off your feet as a testimony against them. So they set out and went from village to village, proclaiming the good news and healing people everywhere. Now Herod the Tetrarch heard about all that was going on and he was perplexed because some were saying that John had been raised from the dead, others that Elijah had appeared and still others that one of the prophets of long ago had come back to life. But Herod said, I beheaded John. Who then is this I hear such things about? And he tried to see him. Psalms and Proverbs Psalm 40 verse 1 to 8 For the director of music of David, a psalm. I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and mire. He set my feet on the rock and gave me a firm place to stand. He put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see and fear the Lord and put their trust in him. Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, who does not look to the proud, to those who turn aside to false gods. Many, Lord my God, are the wonders you have done, the things you planned for us. <clears throat> None can compare with you where I speak where 
I to speak and tell of your deeds, they would be too many to declare. Sacrifice and offering you did not desire. But my ears you have opened, burnt offerings and sin offerings you did not require. Then I said, Here I am, I have come. It is written about me in the scroll. I desire to do your will, my God. Your law is within my heart. Hallelujah. Amen. Please, if you've been blessed by these scriptures and you would like to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior, kindly repeat this prayer after me, believing in your heart every single word you say. Lord Jesus, I confess my sins and I ask for your forgiveness. Please come into my heart as my Lord and Savior. Take complete control of my life and help me to walk in your footsteps daily by the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving me and for answering my prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Congratulations. If you said this prayer, we are so excited to welcome you into God's family. Can you go ahead right now, send us an email, let us know you gave your heart to Christ. Someone is going to reach out to you and pray with you and help you in your new walk of faith. The email address is salvation in christ 101 at gmail.com that is salvation in christ 101 at gmail.com god bless you please remember to subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on facebook on instagram and on tiktok at sandra boyo aruleba Thank you for being here today. It's always a pleasure having you here. I look forward to another amazing day with you. Have a blessed month of April. I love you and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.